Hey everyone, this is Andrew Whitaker. In this video, I'll be demonstrating how to crack WPA2. So to begin, I'm going to connect to a laptop I have that has a wireless access card, uh, a wireless card that supports packet injection. And this particular uh, card has two interfaces. Uh, I'm going to be using the Airmon NG suite to crack WPA2, so I'm going to launch Airmon NG. You'll see I have two wireless cards here, WLAN 0 and WLAN 1. Uh, WLAN 0 is RTL 8187. That's what I'm using for my SSH connection. For the sake of my demo, I'm going to be using WLAN 1, which is the Atheros card. So I need to start that card, or uh, I'll type Airmon-NG, start WLAN 1. What that's going to do is it's going to take that Atheros card and put it into monitor mode, which allows it to do channel hopping. And we'll create a virtual interface called Mon0. Now let me clear the screen. Now that I have that set up, I'll type arrow dump dash ng followed by the new virtual interface. This is going to start doing the channel hopping and look for all the wireless access points. I'll press Control C to kill it here. And I have a uh, access point set up here. Uh, it's a super secure information security access point called InfoSec here. It's, uh, here is its BSS ID, that's a base service set identifier. Uh, this is its MAC address. You have the power, you have the number of beacons, uh, the number of data packets, the number of packets per second. The channel, that's going to become significant. We want to know what that channel number is, which is 10. Its speed, which is 54 megs. Its encryption, it's using Wi-Fi protected access to 802.11i. And its cipher, in this case, it's using the cipher blockchain encounter mode message authentication code protocol. And for authentication, it has a pre-shared key. Now, I wanna, I've want i got a lot of access points here, so I want to narrow down and just start capturing traffic for this one access point. So I'm going to type arrow dump dash ng followed by a uh, dash c for channel. It's on channel 10. Dash dash bssid and I want to paste in here that access point MAC address. There we go and then the interface mon0 and then dash w to write it out to a file I'm gonna write it to the uh, root home directory uh, we'll call it uh, we'll call it WPA2 crack and now it is uh, trying to catch capturing traffic that it sees uh, for just on channel 10 just for uh, this particular uh, access point now in order to crack WPA and WPA2 you're gonna need to capture the handshake well, in order to get the handshake, you have one of two options. You can either wait until a client just connects, maybe at the start of the day, uh, or you can do a deauth attack. And with a deauth attack, you force a client to disconnect, and then they reconnect. And in the process, you might be able to capture their, uh, their WPA2 handshake. So I'm going to go ahead and try the deauth attack. I'm going to open a terminal. I'll SSH into that same box that supports the packet injection so I can do my deauth attack and I'm going to do air replay. Air replay supports about 10 different types of attack. The zero attack is a deauth attack. So I do dash zero followed by the number of times I want to attempt it. Uh, I'll do one just to try it once and followed by dash A for the access point then dash C for the client that I want to launch my attack against. Now, in this case, I'm just going to pick one at random here. I'll pick this uh, one that starts with C8, B, C, C8, B8, etc. So we'll try C8, B, C, C8, B8, F, A, 4, D. And we're doing all of this on Mon0. And it waited for beacon frame on channel 10. It sends 64 directed deauth for that station MAC. And sure enough, if you look up here, we, ha we have captured the handshake. I uh, do control C to stop. So now I can try to crack it. Well, to crack it, I'm going to do air crack dash ng, followed by the path to the uh, capture file, uh, which I called it the WPA2 crack. It uh, prefaces, uh, suffix, adds a suffix of dash 01 and it's a capture file it's just a normal pcap file you can open up with wireshark and view it that'll be followed up with the uh, word list that i want to use to try to crack it so i'll do a dash w for my word list and i have a word list here at pen test passwords 
word list and I want I have a very sh a short dictionary file called uh, uh, called dict.txt it's a short dictionary file but it does in fact have the dictionary word that my WPA2 key is uh, is set for so go ahead and launch it here and it didn't take long at all sure enough it found the key so my WPA2 key is the word classroom and uh, so that shows you that uh, if you're using a weak WPA2 key so there's a dictionary word or a company name or a person's name uh, as long as that word is found somewhere in a dictionary file, uh, it, it, uh, it is susceptible to be attacked. Now, there are many variations of this. Uh, you can definitely use rainbow tables. Uh, for that process, you just basically pipe this into John the Ripper, and then, to, then you feed John the Ripper your rainbow tables. Uh, but that will show you that uh, you, can't, uh, you can't trust your security of WPA2. 